Hello and welcome. This is video three in my 2018 uh, shell script tutorials for your Linux shell. Let's go ahead and look at the stat command. So let's say, you know, if I was to list out here, I've got a folder with a couple of uh, video files in it, a couple of subfolders there from Christmas Day. And uh, let's say I wanted to get information about it. I could do uh, list space dash L for list, H for human readable, A for um, all, I believe, because it will show hidden files as well. There's no hidden files in here, but I tend to, that's just how I type it by default. Uh, so here we go, you know, you got information on permissions for a file. Um, I forget what the second column is here. Uh, probably file type. These are probably files. These are probably directories, something like that. Uh, don't, no, no, that's what this is for. I forget what the second column is. Anyway, uh, let's say I wanted to know uh, the user or the group that owns these files. Uh, I could do that and let's say I just wanted the user of a file. I could uh, list out that file. Let's say I want to go with this file, this this Christmas morning one uh, dot AVI. AVI. Uh, I could do that. That lists out that file. And then I could pipe that into awk and I can then say awk and I can say print dollar sign and I want column three so one two three yep I'll column three and there we go I can see that uh, the owner of that file is metal x1000 that's me uh, that's 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 you know running two commands and, and piping stuff and it, it's it's a bit longer than needed uh, so what I could do is I could use the stat command so I can just type in stat dash C and since I want the user I can say uh, percentage capital U here and the file name so Christmas morning AVI and right there, it gives me just the username. Now, we could look at the man file to learn more about the stat command. And here we go, you can see a list of options here. And you can see lowercase a is the access rights in octal, or capital A is access right in human readable form. So if we were to run the same command again, I can just do lowercase a, and it tells me right there, the permissions in octal are 644, uh, you know, so that's, uh, one way, but you can also do capital A, and you can see that it is, you know, for the user, it's readable, writable, for everybody else, it's readable. Um, and of course, you can put some of these together. Let's say I wanted to say the who the owner is, the user that owns that file, I can say percent capital U, and then capital A, and yeah, I can see I get that it's the uh, that's the user, and these are the permissions here, and of course, I could should be able to reverse those as well. And there you go. Uh, actually, nope, I did A and A, didn't I? There we go. Okay, uh, so those are some examples. Let's look at uh, other options. Um, we could also use it to, uh, you know, get uh, links. So let's go ahead and go back in the man page here for stat. And we can scroll down here. And you can see a lot of options. You can see, you know, what file type it, it is. Uh, and uh, whether it's secure. Linux security context string uh, going down. Uh, we can get just the file name if we want. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that you can get with the list command, but you can ask for specific parts of them without other information. So that way you don't have to grep and pipe and said just to get a piece of that information. It's just a little more efficient that way. Um, and here with the with the file name command, we can use that. Uh, we should be able to use that. Um, Actually, let's look at this capital in here. Quote file name uh, with difference of symbolic link. So I have a symbolic link uh, in my uh, www folder. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say stat, and I'm gonna say dash C, and here I'm gonna say percent N, and then the link is inside my home folder, uh, www media, and I can hit enter, and right there it tells me that this symbolic link is pointing to this directory here. Uh, so that's a quick easy way to just split things up and again look at the man page because there are a lot of options in here all listed right there. And uh, again it might save you some time you know some some coding you don't need to pipe stuff which is same system resources and might shorten up your commands a little bit. And, and you can run this on uh, a full directory. So let's say we were to go back up to here. I can say, give me uh, the you know the permissions and the username for all files in this directory. And there you go. You get both of those. Uh, 
So that's it for this tutorial. So I hope that you find that useful. If you did, be sure to check out the rest of my videos in this playlist and my previous playlist. I've done hundreds of shell script tutorials over the years. Be sure to check them out on my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description there. You can quickly search through all my videos from both my channels. And uh, while you're there, check out the support section where you can support me through uh, PayPal or Patreon. I do uh, appreciate your support. Also, if you like my videos, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. That stuff helps a lot. Uh, more views I get, the better, and I appreciate it. And I hope that you have a great day.